And so it was all right for a while, but until I got dumped, like I got dumped a fortnight before I was supposed to get married, which I don't know, which, yeah, I know, it's horrible. Uh, it's, it was like a bereavement, and I kind of wish it had been. Cause that, <laughs> that makes it sound much worse than I meant it to, honestly. Like it's, cause it would have been easier for my friends, is what I'm saying. Because you know what would happen. Like if, you're, if, one of your, if one of your friend's partners died, you'd treat them with a little bit more sensitivity than you do when they've been dumped, don't you? Like, there's not one person in here who would do what my friends did if my partner had died. Go around going... <laughs> I never liked her anyway. <laughs> Probably better off without her. No one's ever done that at their granddad's funeral, have they? No one's ever gone up to gran grandma and gone, listen, I know you're missing granddad, but do you know the best way to get over this? Fuck someone else. <laughs> you're lonely, Trevor's lonely. Fucking go for it! Go on. They don't do that. So I ended up finding myself, like... Uh, I ended up finding myself, like single and stuck in a ha stuck in my house and when I started to be ready to start dating again it became difficult because like, like I say this is the only social interaction I really get and the sort of people who want to chat me up after they see me doing stand up are fucking weird <laughs> like genuinely there's just uh, m most of the time it was just me at home with my cats and then occasionally I'd come out here and it would just be like just people who come up to me afterwards like being really fucking drunk and weird like I remember doing a gig in uh, Clitheroe because I'm dyslexic and that's false advertising and <laughs> Almost as bad as none eaten. I uh, <laughs> cockermouth was a pleasant surprise. But <laughs> I'm doing this gig, and this woman came up to me afterwards, trying to chat me up, and she was fucking hammered. Like you know, when you're that pissed, you have to concentrate on your breathing. <laughs> you know, when you're that pissed, you're like, I don't, I, I don't know. Am I, am I, am I still breathing? Br breathing, breathing, breathe, breathe, breathing. Doesn't sound like a word. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> she was that pissed she couldn't breathe and walk right at the same time. She, like, she had to concentrate on both of them as she came over to us giving it <laughs> <laughs> like some sort of steam powered Tina Turner, right? It was <laughs> fucking nuts. And then when she started talking, uh, she sounded like that Hilary DeVay, you know, of Dragon's Den. Do you know, if you don't know which one, she's the one who looks like a cross between Cruella DeVille and a badly upholstered armchair. <laughs> you know the one I mean? Because she came and she was like, I liked you. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks, right? I'm there rock like she's there rocking backwards and forwards doing that. I think I might throw up. You know when you you know when you're pissed and you think you're gonna throw up, but part of your brain goes, I can just breathe my way through this. If I just breathe right, I can get through this. Time in my breathing, that'll fucking stop it, right? Because she was giving it my hook. <sighs> My husband's gone off sex. <laughs> That's a surprise, right? <laughs> I wonder why that is, right? She goes, because uh, he's, he's gone off sex. I was like, oh, really? She went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you, do you fancy? Do you fancy? Do you fancy coming back? Coming back to my house? It's fucking terrifying, isn't it? It's the worst chat-up line I've ever heard. Although, in her defence, she did make a good breakfast. But. <laughs> 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 Ha, ha, ha.